breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Your lies. Blackmail will not distract us. IPOP tells Nigerian government security agencies. Your lies. Blackmail will not distract us. IPOP tells Nigerian government security agencies. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Proscribed Igbo Secessionist Group Indigenous people of Ni- Biafra, IPOP, has told the Nigerian government and security agencies that no amount of lies and blackmail peddled against it will distract the group from achieving its objectives. The Biafra Agitators in a statement on Wednesday, accused the Nigerian government and its security agencies of working with criminals to blackmail it, it will blackmail it because it refused to give up on Biafra restoration agitation. The statement issued by IPOPS Media and Publicity Secretary. Emma Powerful alleged that it had uncovered that security legend where the horns who set INEC offices ablaze, as well as carrying out other heinous activities in the southeast, only to turn around and accuse IPOB and its military arm, Distant Security Network, ESN. Following the numerous sponsored criminal activities, Following the numerous sponsored criminal activities of the enemies of Mazi Unam Dekanu and IPOB restoration movement to smear our reputation, we, the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the leadership of Mazi Unam Dekanu, once again asked the public to ignore the concocted lies associating IPOB with many criminal activities being leveled against us by the Nigerian federal government and its security agencies, the statement read. The claim by the Nigerian federal government and its security agencies that IPOB is involved in the burning of INEC facilities in a bomb factory and destruction of electoral party paraphernalia in Biafra land are all aimed at our image. It is an obvious fact that the Nigerian government and its compromised security agencies are working with the criminals to blackmail IPOB because we have refused to give up on the Biafra restoration agitation. They set INEC offices on fire and turn around to claim it to claim it is ESN. The assassinate politicians opponents and medical practitioners and turn around to claim it was IPOB just to damage our hallowed name but we refuse to be distracted. We have uncovered their plan to rig the elections in the southeast against Peter Lobby and blame it on IPOB and ESN. That was the same way the bond market 
and different properties of our people and tagged it on IPOB. They declared a five-day ignored sit at home and killed our people and even killed a pregnant mother using IPOB and ESN name. We know their daily, their daily evil activities and will continue to expose them. They are in disarray because we uncover their evil activities before they carried out, the statement said. Proscribed Igbo secessionist group, indigenous people of Biafra Lipop, has told the Nigerian government and security agencies that no amount of lies and blackmail peddled against it will distract the group from achieving its objectives. The Biafra agitators, in a statement on Wednesday, accused the Nigerian government and its security agencies of working with criminals to blackmail it because it refused to give up on Biafra restoration agitation. The statement issued by IPOP's media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, alleged that it had uncovered that security legend were the ones who set INEC offices ablaze, as well as carrying out other union's activities in the southeast, only to turn around and accuse IPOP and its military arm, the Eastern Security Network, ESN. Following the numerous sponsored criminal activities of the enemies of Mazi, Unamdikanu, and IPOB restoration movement to smear our reputation with the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the leadership of Mazi, Unamdikanu, once again asked the public to ignore the concocted lies associating IPOB with many criminal activities being leveled against us by the Nigerian federal government and its security agencies, the statement reads. To my dear listeners, I have come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.